So the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro have been getting a lot of excitement and are definitely an early contender for perhaps the best earbuds of 2022. But what if I told you that there was a pair of earbuds on Amazon that was not only outselling them, getting better reviews than them, but also selling for one-tenth the cost while still having, in some ways, better specs, like a better water resistance rating and things like that. Well, I went on Amazon, I thought this was so interesting. I, I, every now and then I go on Amazon, I just check out the best selling earbuds. And of course, at the top, AirPods, AirPods Pro, here in the United States, they are, you know, by far top sellers. But the first pair of earbuds that was not AirPods as a top seller on Amazon was this pair of earbuds right here with over 310,000 reviews and a very good overall rating and an astonishingly low price of $25 despite some of the latest specs like Bluetooth 5.3, wireless charging, IPX8 water resistance, and more than that. So of course that led me to buy them. I wanted to see what these earbuds were all about and if you could actually get by with something that's selling for one-tenth the cost of the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Because hey, let's be honest, instead of buying a $250 pair of earbuds, if you can get by with a $25 pair of earbuds, that gives you $225 to buy, I don't know, say 160 McDoubles, I think that's worth looking into. There's a lot we're gonna talk about in this video. Obviously, the price difference, this is 10X the price, $250 versus $25. But I wanted to take a look at, first of all, the specs of these, see how they stack up, but specs don't mean everything. So I wanna talk about the sound quality, the microphones, the noise cancellation, and everything else we'd normally talk about in a comparison of earbuds. But starting off with the specs, the first big spec, as I mentioned, for the Tozo T10, which, side note, no surprise, the case is definitely a bit larger, actually substantially larger, but both the case and the earbuds are IPX8, which I thought was really surprising considering most flagship earbuds out there are not IPX8, and the cases are not IPX8 either. In fact, most cases are not even rated for water resistance. So IPX8 on this little budget pair, and on the $250 pair of Galaxy Buds IPX7, realistically, you're not really gonna notice a difference with that. If you drop it in a puddle, they're fine either way. The Tozo also has a slightly longer battery life with six hours in the earbuds, 30 hours when you include the case. Of course, that does not include active noise cancellation because unfortunately they don't have ANC. The Galaxy Buds on the other hand have five and a half hours in the earbuds and 18 when you include the case and that is with active noise cancellation. But before you say that's not a fair comparison, let's be real, if you're using Galaxy Buds, you have active noise cancellation on anyway. As far as the design goes, they both have touch controls, they both have wireless charging, they both charge by USB type C on the back, the Tozo comes with five different pairs of earbud tips while the Galaxy Buds come with just three. So maybe a subtle advantage there. From a practical standpoint, getting away from the specs, obviously the case is so much larger for the Tozo earbuds. You do have a nice little hook on the top for a lanyard, but pocketability, it's a no brainer. That's where you're really getting a lot of the benefit of the more expensive Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. As far as fit and comfort go, these are both pretty small earbuds, but again, something you'll notice when you're wearing the earbuds is that Galaxy Buds, they spent more time on engineering, they spent more money on that, and so these fit more comfortably in my ear and also kind of have some features that grab the inside of my ear and stay in very well. Whereas Tozo, you're just gonna be using essentially whatever ear tip it comes, whatever ear tip you like, and that's the only thing holding it in. There's no features to grab the inside of your ear. When you're sitting around wearing them, they're both comfortable enough, but if you plan on running or working out, Again, a benefit of spending more money on the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. So at this point, you might be thinking, Mike, of course you're gonna get a better pair of earbuds for 10 times the price, but really the point of this video is to figure out what that money is actually going to. The design, the sound, what, what, do you, what can you actually get for one-tenth the cost? Which, by the way, for anyone new here, please consider subscribing, but for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a big fan of high-value products. Products that deliver a lot, the high-end specs and a high-end performance, for a reasonable price. That's why that these Tozo earbuds were so interesting to me. Almost too good to be true, but of course we'll talk more about that in a minute. You'll also know that a couple weeks ago, OnePlus came out with their OnePlus 10T, which was announced in early August. I was very excited about this launch being a very high-end phone at a very reasonable price. The phone has an unimaginably fast 150 watt fast charging. If you're in the US or Canada, you will still be getting 125 watts of fast charging, which brings you from zero to 100% in just 20 minutes. On top of that, you're getting a 120 hertz 10 bit color display. It comes with a fast charger in the box comes with pre-installed screen protector, and does all of this for less than the price of the lowest iPhone model this year. The display's bright, it's vibrant, it's colorful, great detail that you can see in any environment, 
and it runs on Android with OnePlus's Oxygen OS 12 on top, but it will be getting Oxygen OS 13 soon, including their new aquamorphic design and all the new features associated with that. On top of all that, OnePlus 10T is now coming to North America. The pre-orders are going on now, and I will have a link in the top of the description for their pre-order, which lasts until September 28th, after that, I'll just put a regular link down there to order it. But of course, if you want to learn more about this phone, you can check out my entire review. I'll have that linked in the description below or click on the pre-order link and read more about it there. So again, thanks to OnePlus for sponsoring this video. Very excited that their phone is finally coming to North America. Okay, back to these two earbuds. The thing that I was most interested to see was the sound quality analysis of these. And sometimes you get a pair of earbuds like this that not only has really good reviews, but a really low price. And the reason that people like the way it sounds is because it has a lot of bass. And so when I started listening to these, sure enough, they do have a lot of bass, they're bass heavy. And if you haven't listened to higher end earbuds, they're gonna sound really exciting, really good to you. Uh, honestly, after having tested many different earbuds of you know up to five or six hundred dollars, these earbuds, like you can tell that there are lower quality drivers in there, but nonetheless, I was impressed with the volume of the bass you're getting out of them. Uh, it's definitely very boomy, definitely on the muddy side, so it's no surprise that the sound is not going to be nearly as crisp or as detailed as the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. So, um, you know, not too much to be surprised with there, but all things considered, for $25, I was pleasantly surprised. Like I could listen to these and not be like completely disgusted with the audio. Like I've tried other $25 earbuds and most of the time it's just so muddy and bassy that I would never bother with them. But if you're on a budget, $25, like you're getting better sound than I expected. But like I said, don't expect anything very clear. As far as noise cancellation goes, no surprise here, you're getting really decent active noise cancellation on the Buds 2 Pro, as I talked about in the full review of them. You unfortunately are not getting any noise cancellation other than passive noise blocking on the Tozo T10s, but these earbuds, like I said, you have five different ear tips you can choose from, so if you find the right seal, that in itself can block out a, a lot around you. Okay, but this next test is something that most cheap earbuds completely fail out. This is the microphone test. So I wanna test these both outside in a louder environment and just see how they perform. All right, so this is a microphone test with the Tozo T10 earbuds. Leave a comment, let me know how this sounds to you. This is really loud out here, busy road. It's also really windy as well. Uh, I tested this a minute ago. Honestly, I'm really impressed with the microphones for $25. I feel like they, can, they do a pretty decent job. But again, it's super windy out here and this is really loud behind me. So let me know if you can actually hear what I'm saying. And now for reference, these are the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Uh, of course, we know these sound really good, great earbuds, great microphones. But the question is, are these 10 times better than the Tozo T10? When it comes to microphones, I mean, the advantage is that I do have a transparency mode, I can hear myself talking. But uh, for the other end of the line, I'm not sure if it's really that big of a difference. But leave a comment, let me know what you think. Okay, so far, if you wanted to save $225, you would be getting a larger case here, you'd be getting less lower quality sound, but as far as features go, that's another one of the big things you're paying for if you go with the Galaxy Buds, of course. Anything that you're spending a lot more money on more engineering on the back end of these, as well as more marketing probably as well. But looking at these, it comes with an app. It only works on Android, the app. You won't be getting it on, on iPhone, so from the if you have an iPhone, these are both basically the same earbuds for as far as functionality goes, but on a Galaxy phone or any Android for that matter, you're getting a lot of stuff. Like you can easily switch between Galaxy devices, you're getting voice detect, so if you start talking, it'll pause automatically. You get, you can control if you have single, double, triple tap, or tap and hold enabled, and what tap and hold does. You have Vic, Bixby wake up, you've got an equalizer on there, it can read notifications aloud. Uh, you can use ambient sound on here as well, especially during calls, that's something I really like to do. And of course, the neck stretch reminders, meaning that if you're looking down too much, uh, it could strain your neck over time, so it'll give you a notification after like 10 minutes. When I'm traveling, I get that notification way more often than I thought I would, so I personally really like that feature. But other features like that, you can check out my review of the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. It's no surprise that you're getting way more features 
out of the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro than this little $25 pair of earbuds. But to give them credit, you do have quite a few different touch control options on the Tozo T10. So t single, double, triple press, tap and hold for phone calls on either earbud, as well as for music control. There's really a lot you can do. And on top of that, you're getting a lot in the box with these. So you're getting, like I said, five different ear tip sizes. You're getting that charging cable. And it even comes with like a nice little lanyard so you can put it on on this and you don't lose it. That's way, way longer than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, maybe I would like cut it or something, but hey, you know what? I'm all for companies giving you more than you thought you were going to get. Obviously, it's no surprise, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro are a superior pair of earbuds. But when it comes down to it, they're $250 and people have budgets. So at the end of the day, it comes down to this. Do you wanna spend $250 on a pair of earbuds that will give you a better design, better sound quality, better features, like all across the board, they're a better pair of earbuds? Or can you get by with something for one-tenth the cost that still does a surprising job for the low price? And then you can spend your other $225 on going out to dinner with your family, or maybe you can go to a baseball game, or maybe you could just stay home and buy 160 McDoubles. It's up to you what you do with that extra money, but leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the massive price difference between these. Obviously, they're two different people that'd be buying them. I just thought it was an interesting and fun video to make. To compare these, I just couldn't help myself when I saw such a low price on one of the top sellers on Amazon. But if you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Mike O'Brien, I'll see you next time.